Mulwaza Chagalasa, the individual, um, obviously Kamala Mulwaza Chagalasa, um, the Sogan Tata, um, currently 24 years old. I recently finished my degree in Pekong Accounting. I'm currently um, doing a bridging course to get into a PGDA, I mean, a postgraduate diploma in financial planning. And Luaza Chakala is uh, the Secretary General, but it's obviously hard to um, detach myself from politics because um, everything I do at this moment revolves around politics. The motivating factor, it was obviously just being conscious of my surroundings. Um, I've always been interested in politics. Even in high school, I was uh, really interested in politics. You know, looking at the environment where I come from and, you know, learning about government, knowing what the government should do. You know, I've always um, had an interest in politics and that's why I sort of leaned to the party that I came and later joined here in this institution. Being a modern day leader in South Africa, I'd say it's just about um, being part of the change. I mean, um, there's an interesting quote that says, be the change you want to see. So when you are a leader, you know, um, in South Africa, you're basically one of the people that are willing to stand up to make a change. Because I think we can all see the problems that are being faced in this country. You know, we can all see the problems that are being faced institutionally, right? So being a leader just means that you are one of those people that are willing to make a stand to say that, okay, such and such should not be tolerated. This is the direction that we must take. It means that you are part of the people that, you know, are willing to stand up. A student wants to follow in these footsteps. They must have a strong why. Why it is that they are doing what they are doing. Because you'll be required to sacrifice a lot of things. I mean, you'll be required, firstly, sacrifice of social life, um, academic life. You just have to understand your why and stick to your why. And obviously, you know, you have to have strong principles. I think that the youth must make a stand themselves and the youth must make sure that they fight for representation in all material spaces, you know, in the country to ensure that, you know, issues of the youth, they are driven because it's us, you know, who are going to inherit this country. And, you know, we can choose to just sit down inherit this country as a disaster that it is, or we can make a stand now to ensure that we inherit this country at least in a better condition. The uh, significance for me is to basically, you know, remind ourselves about what can be achieved by the youth. Um, today's youth, right, um, they're very vocal and uh, they demand to be included. Able. I think in every space right now um, that we see, right, we see youth demanding to be included. Whether it's politics, we see youth demanding to be included. Whether it's government, we see youth demanding to be included. Whether it's employment. So I think, yeah, they're very vocal in wanting to be included in all material spaces. Mm -hmm.